Link Works Project, PBLA in Link Works, Part 2, Productive Assessment Tasks. In Part 1 of PBLA in Link Works, an overview of the features common to both productive and receptive assessment tasks in the project were explored. Now let's look at features that are unique to productive assessments in the Link Works project. Speaking tasks start with a prompt from the teacher, either as part of a role play or to ask the learner to respond to a chosen picture or scenario, which are included as part of the assessment. The instructions in speaking tasks will be to the teacher instead of the learner and followed by an area for the teacher to take notes during the assessment. These notes could be given to the learner as part of the feedback process following the assessment. For a role play, the teacher can repeat information if prompted appropriately by the learner. Remember, the point is not to test the learner's limits. The point is to gauge their ability in the real world as best as possible in a classroom setting. For writing assessments, instructions are to the learners. After the instructions, there will be a place for the learners to write. Recommended times are given for each PBLA task in the lesson plan, but teachers should consider the real world situation when deciding on the amount of time to be given for writing. Writing a report of a workplace accident has a longer time requirement in the real world than writing notes to a coworker about what was accomplished during a shift. Teachers also need to decide if self-help strategies, such as using a dictionary to check spelling, will be allowed during a writing assessment. Good writers sometimes, but not always, make use of self-help tools. Consider the real-world situation, and also whether a dictionary will overly focus the learners on criteria that may not be key to the task in the assessment. Following the teacher's notes area, or place for learners to write, are the PBLA and Essential Skills Assessment Tools, as well as the Self-Assessment and Reflection sections for the learners. These are explained in detail in Part 1, the Overview to PBLA in Link Works. During skill building, teachers need to teach the skills for the criteria that are being checked in the assessment to ensure learners can complete the tasks as expected for the level. Finally, the level of accuracy needed for both speaking and writing are written in the assessment tools in learner-friendly language. Teachers will need to capture and highlight to learners concrete examples of successful and still improving language for the CLB level during skill building. It is very important that the teacher's expectations do not exceed the CLB expectations, even if the teacher thinks the learners are capable. This keeps the assessment results aligned to the national CLB standard. Remember, PBLA should not be treated as a standardized test, and teachers should not be teaching to the assessment, nor teaching without regard to the design of the assessment tasks and the CLB criteria included. Becoming familiar with the key features of productive assessments will help teachers include these features in skill building and ensure that learners only have to demonstrate what they now can do in speaking and writing. There are four parts to this PBLA in LinkWorks Information for Teachers series. This has been part two. Part three of PBLA in LinkWorks looks at receptive assessments in the LinkWorks project. Part four looks at modifying materials in the LinkWorks project to meet learners' needs. Teachers should view all four parts of PBLA in LinkWorks to understand how to use and modify the LinkWorks PBLA material with their classes. End of part two.